In light of Secretaries Tillerson and Kelly's trip to Mexico this week to discuss strengthening relations and who would pay for the wall, we asked the Fox News Brain Room, that's our research team here, for a closer look at the actual southern border fencing that's already in place. And here's what they found. The primary fencing is 654 miles long, which covers about a third of the border. It's typically around 18 feet high. That includes 354 miles of pedestrian fencing and another 300 miles for vehicles. The secondary fencing runs about 37 miles and serves as a backup to just 6% of the primary fencing. It's usually around 15 feet high and it's made out of steel tubes covered with wire mesh or metal sheeting. Here are some of the examples of different barriers, such as a chain link fence, concrete, and thick fence posts. Taking a closer look at what's called landing mat fencing, you heard a lot about that last week, you can see it there. This is what the Trump White House says is ineffective. They want to remove or replace it. That kind of fence is made out of the same material the Army used to make helicopter landing mats during the Vietnam War. Border agents say they are bad because they block the line of sight across the border and they actually give illegals cover to move freely along the border. There you go.